Hi right, everybody, it's c 420 here, just uh, coming back to you with another EEPC uh, video cast or podcast or geek cast, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically today here, just going to quick run through a couple things I had previously mentioned in my posts, last post on things that I use my EEPC for. So, just waiting for my XP to load here. Um, of course, adding XP does add to the boot time. Also, so, just a heads up on that. So, we are here to be up and loaded. First thing we'll look at is my location free TV setup. Basically, I have uh, everything set up uh, in my bedroom with the base station and all. And I just had to install the client onto here and connect it all up. Let's see here, receiving video. And I'm actually doing it over my. Um, wireless connection right now so it'd be like if I'm outside of the world here power on my DVD player and play and there we go quality wise not so not the best not the worst so either you know about YouTube quality better than YouTube quality I'd say and the fact that you can you know watch TV anywhere it's kinda Kind of cool. So there we are. Got a movie loaded up and playing. Let's see here. Oops. Oh, I need that on. Oops. Yeah. So you need your any more or less on, obviously. So just that, how that works. Um, another thing I showed in a couple of my pictures was the Zune software that plays on. Uh, that I use on it. Um, so for example, you got, you know, you get the cool view. And videos actually, I have MP4s I use for my PS3, like for example, Family Guy. Which looks really good, actually. <laughs> so that's kind of how I watch my videos. I also use a Media Player Classic, which is a great slim media player for uh, not so powerful machines. Uh, another thing I do, I can uh, podcast from it, capture from my built-in webcam on the 4G. So, for example, I just will do a fake one here. I'm not going to save any of this, just to show you what it looks like. So there I am. Of course, let me go to a little more lighted area. Oop. And there's another cool thing. <laughs> Forgot I had it plugged in. And notice how I actually just dropped my computer right there. And hey, look at that. See right now? Tossing it around. Gotta love that factor. And notice how she runs like a charm. The SSD is, is beautiful in that regards. So that's kind of how you can podcast and uh, <laughs> drop your computer at the same time and not have problems. Um, we'll show you the Netflix Movie Viewer, which again is beautiful for us traveler types, since it actually does play pretty smoothly on here. So we're going to go into... I might need to log in one second here. Okay, let's see. Let it load up here. So we're gonna go into my, my browse instant here. Finally, shut, saw that strange brew movie again on the instant viewing. Pretty cool. You know, tell us on the side here too what kind of quality we're gonna get. Let's see what we get. I'm curious to see what it tells me. I think I got like basic before due to the video card that I'm using, of course, that's in the EE. So yeah, basic, you get a delayed start, but hey, you know. If it, if you plays, I mean, when you're away on any Wi-Fi, 
I'll take it. So. I do notice that after it first streams, it takes it a second to catch up. But however, though, once it catches up, it seems to be pretty, pretty decent. So, kind of waiting for that to load. While we're waiting here, I'm going to take this with me. a little longer than normal today. Oh, there we go. I think it might have been the whole turning off my Wi-Fi and on again, confusing my computer. So, there we go. Get an idea for quality resuming. Oh, yeah, I was watching this before. It looks like kind of cool thing on Netflix. I know if you watch on the same computer, it will resume where you last played. So, this is the... Uh, Placement killers. Not too bad a quality, actually. It looks better than my uh, location free TV setup. Um, all things considering, not bad at all. So, that's just, uh, you know, a few things that I can do with my EE. Um, I can see some mad potential with uh, us, with some computer elite hacker types that would could use this as a very nice wireless uh, security checking machine, so to say. Anywho, um, that's about all I got for you guys. I right, peace.